Hello everybody and welcome once again to all of Fabric 3. Today we are going to look at mostly at Iridium I think because it's something I need. <laughs> we definitely need it and we need it in reasonable quantities in order to do the Tech Reborn high level stuff. But first we're going to start with getting the rewards from all the quests that we've done. Because we've got the new quest system and we haven't claimed any rewards for a long time, let's see what we get. So the first thing I'm going to do is put everything I've got away. So you can do control shift and click and that will move all your items up to the top here. And then we shall just go to the uh, quest menu. In fact, there's two places to it. I've programmed mine for a key, uh, but you can also click it by going uh, through, through here. And then you've got these quests here. And you see all of these quests have been completed. So let's just click this button up here, all the fabric, click all rewards. <laughs> and as you can see, there's a lot of them. I haven't even got most of them. <laughs> so let's just put them away. So control shift and click and should move everything up and then we can go and get the rest like that. I think that's probably all of them. Actually it is all of them now. A quick look at what we've got if there's anything particularly interesting. There are actually there are. We've got some speed enhancers. Um uh, elderberry seeds. We've probably got those I think we've got all of the seeds. There was a new one I think. Oh coconut sapling that's new. Walnut sapling, got that already. Avocado sapling, got that one. Pecan sapling, got that one. Kumquat sapling, that's a new one for us. Uh, Holly spring, don't sure what that one does, but there we are. We've also got some 1k storage, which is very handy for us anyway. Um, block of gold, some gold, some iron, a block of iron. Uh, standard machine casing, a full basic machine casing is very nice. Let's just uh, take this one out as well and press sort. P for sorting stuff. We've got uh, some hats. We've had the space hat before. Last time it didn't work. You can put it in. You're supposed to be able to breathe underwater. 30 quartz crystals. We'll take that with us. What's we got? A block of emerald. Oh, that's nice. An emerald nugget. Um, some apples. Most of this is now food. We're down to wood. Crate of melons. Wood to iron upgrade for a, ch is that a chest one. Or is that a... Yes, it's a, it's a chest one. And we've got some Tennessee planks. What else? Have we? That's basically it. So the rest of it's food. We'll leave that in there for the time being. And we'll carry on. So let's have a look at Iridium to start with. So. Just seeing what... Oh, right. We've got some interesting Iridium stuff. So... Iridium alloy ingots are quite expensive, but we need iridium ore. We can get nuggets from, um, I'll look at the recipe for that one. Oops, get rid of that, because that was wrong. Look at the, the recipe for that one. You can get it from basically two sources. And grinding, central, uh, so with platinum we can get two iridium and one nickel from two platinum dust. So that's not very good to return. Industrial grinder, we can do uh, shield and ore. That's a nice one. We can get two of that one. Uh, oh, shield and that with mercury or with water. In fact, the only one you get is one more platinum with mercury. And we can also get it from scrap boxes. Fine. Takes a long time. I've got six nuggets. So the next one is this one here, iridium ore. So we can craft it using UU matter. That's one way to do it. And we can put it in the fusion reactor with the lithium and a wolframe sell and it'll make another one. That's so that's a practical way we could do it at the moment. The recipe for this one is tungsten and empty cell will give a wolfram. Uh, I think we covered this last time but just for the completeness let's have a look at this one. So clay and five empty cells will give us another lithium. So that's a very good way of doing it. Now the one I'm going to look at today is actually UU matter. <laughs> Let me just get my stuff back out of here. I might have not enough space so I'll be quickly go and tidy everything up again I think. Oh, just enough space, but I'm going to have to tidy everything up anyway. Let's just put the ingots up here. Get rid of these and put those up in here as well. We'll put the surface quartz into, into the system. And I think that's probably about right. Oh, we can also put the 1K storage into the system as well. And iron and basic machine frames. That's actually nice. We like those basic machine frames. Scrap box initiators, iron. Actually, what I'm going to do today is we're going to have a look at doing um, upgrading. Sorry, I'm just being a bit distracted. I can't do two things at once by the looks of it. 
So what I was going to do here, I was going to make... Um, Actually, let's go back to this because I haven't completed that. So we can do it from information here. So we can actually use the Industrial Revolution's miner for doing this as well. So we've got Fusion Reactor, which we haven't made yet. That's another one, which is quite high tier, I think. So have a look. Does it say? It's insane. <laughs> that means it's tough. Anything insane is really tough. So I'm not going to do that for the time being, but we can do... Uh, the matter fabric is strange enough, but first of all, I was going to do this. Um, this one here, I was going to. This is dragon egg siphon. Let's have a look. Dragon egg energy siphon that gives you 128 um, e per tick, I think. That's a drain. And this requires iridium alloy plates. We've made those already. Oh, have we? Actually, thinking about it, I'm not sure we have. Energy flow chips. That one is again is radium alloy plate, which is we need to do this in the in the implosion compressor, or with two of the ender crystals. But I think we'll do it with TNT because it's cheap and easy. Uh, ender eye dust is actually a maybe it's a reasonable thing to have as it happens. Anyway, won't worry about that. So let's have a look at this. I've got everything ready. I wanted to make two more of these. I'd run out of materials. That's why I thought I had to think about it. Oops, go back again. Press double click to it there. So this one here makes these superconductors, and we need for that six, three helium cells, 60k helium cells. So the recipe for 60k helium cells is this one bucket of helium surrounded by four tuningas. The recipe for buckets of it. Helium are basically glowstone dust or endstone dust. So I've been using endstone dust and in the central industrial centrifuge with two cells gives one helium three and one helium cell you also get some, some tungsten and some sand so that's quite handy too so the, the one of this the uses of the helium three cell is you can make with deuterium we can make this helium plasma cells and with that one you can actually cool it down i think if i'm not mistaken the uses of it you can actually in the vacuum field we would actually get a helium so we could do it that way or we can put it into there make a lot of power uh, basically 8,000, 800, 8 million energy, which is probably a good way to do it. And the plasma generator, the plasma generator, tungsten steel plates, energy flow chips, generator, and an HV transformer. Actually not too difficult as it happens. So let's, let's make up this one, first of all. Let's take that out of here, take the bucket back. Come along, put that one into here. So we've got the, let's try again. So we've got iridium alloy, tungsten steel, ingots and energy flow chips. I've got most of these from the from the end as it happens without actually having to make them. And here I was going to do, make this one, but I decided against it. First of all, make, just in case I haven't done this in the past, I think in this chest here, I've got some materials I'd like to, no, actually not in this particular case, but we can put this bucket away. Iridium alloy ingots I have got prepared. I think they are... Oh, yes, here we are. Yes. I've got two of these ingots already prepared. Gold dust, diamond dust, sorry, plus advanced alloy done already, and iridium plates. So you need eight iridium to make two, two of these things. A lot. But we can then go and put this quite happily into the compressor. If, we haven't, if you haven't seen this before, I can't remember. I've done it before, to be honest with you. The implosion compressor with some... TNT in it doesn't take too long as it happens or give us two of these I'm not going to wait for doing that for now I'm going to have a quick sleep and come back in a second so what I'd like oh, wrong, wrong button what I'd like to do is to make the you um, the matter fabricator so the matter fabricator is this one here and I thought oh we, this is a lot high level one but we've actually got everything we need for this I had to make just two extractors industrial machine frames we got a lot from the end and these are electronic crystal energy orbs are pretty expensive these are electronic crystals which is basically one stack of uh, obsidian per crystal and then you've got to make all the bits to go around it no I've done it already so that's no big deal so Let's go back here and of course that was an iridium alloy plate so i can actually 
what am I missing in here? I'll tell you what I have to do on here, and then we probably could do it straight away as it happens, because I was thinking about it. And sure enough, it, that one didn't go into place, but now we get a matter fabricator. So with the matter fabricator, and they got an achievement and a challenge, so basically means a quest. All you have to do is to replace the, the scrap box on the initiator here with that. And I've got some scrap coming on this side here, almost two stacks. So we just have to configure this. So we, just, on the right hand side, this is the input here. So we want the input to go here. And that should pull stuff in if we auto input it. And you can see that's already filling up here. The out, this will then use this and it will, it's going to take a while and it's going to stay here. So this is the output slot. So let's make the output slot go to the other side here. So that wants to go to this one. So we want to auto output to this side and then it's done. Now, obviously I haven't got enough power in here. It's going to take forever to get this, to do this. It needs, um, I'm not sure exactly how much it's, it takes 10 million this machine. So it's going to, I need to increase the power and I need to increase the power on this side. So one way to do that is to make another, I'm good. Oh, actually we can do this now. Let's go over here. We will have some UV matter in here. We've got one, but we can use the UV matter to make the next level of um, solar panel. So what we need from here is eight of these. And they, oh, I want the right wrench, don't I? So let's get the right wrench out. That should be six, I think. Yep, yeah, so we need two more. Like that. I mean, then while I'm here, I might as well take up this cable, as in fact, this is a, also from here, because we don't need these anymore. If we get more of these, we can then just replace those so down here. I can put some more dirt back down again, like that. So then, we're, all we need to do with these is come along here and say, the, "Look at the usage of this." As basically, we can make. The, oh, I didn't do it. Why not? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> what did I just do? I put waste some you matter making a stone, and oh, that was very smart. <laughs> Let's see if we got some more. <laughs> Yes, we got two more. Right, let's try that again. <laughs> and then we get this quantum solar panel. It actually doesn't make a much difference. So eight times four here, it gives you 32. Eight times 16 gives you 128. So you're not getting any more, except we're going to have an achievement <laughs> and a quest. And we're also going to be able to put this down. The one place to put this down now is over here. I could simply attach this to this like this and that so I've now got another achievement and that should then give this a lot more power and we should see this coming in at high rates so it's going to come in and charge this up but it's going to take a while because even at 128 it's not that much and there we go as you see it went up to 10 I think but the, but the EU mat will be coming in a bit faster right the other way of doing it as you may have noticed is with the miner. So let's have a look at this. I need something for this. I've forgotten what it is. Let's have a look. Actually, I've got some. So, so let's have a look at uh, Industrial Revolution and look at the mining rig. We've got these various bits and pieces. Here's the mining drill head, which is made from lead plates and steel plates actually not too difficult and then let's have a look at the mining rig computer so for this we need two netherite drill heads okay now and these lead plates and a machine that's actually not too difficult just these three bits here are the hard bits especially the netherite one because we need this so let's have a look how to make that so we need i've actually got four drill heads i want to make like that i'm not going to use all four for what we want uh, but we need to go through the iron one here. We just take those four drill heads and put them in. Here we get iron ones. I'm only going to do two as it happens because we're not going to get enough power in order to be able to do more. Put this back there. Um, higher levels than that. But we got. I did actually prepare enough so I could have done 
up to diamond we'll just do two and then in here we'll just do two of these for netherite and we got actually netherite hat real head something went wrong <laughs> oh, i got that right it's just a visual thing oh Oh yes, one disappeared. But I thought there was just a visual thing. So now we can put this into here. Like that. And then we get our mining drill rig. Um, and then from that we've got this here, which we can make two of these mining rig mining rig drills. Okay. This one actually what this one is here is the is one of these. So basically, if you go for a modular mining drill like this one, all I need to do is put a netherite drill in and make one of these. Now this is basically just an electronic drill, uh, so I decided against doing it. Because <laughs> we've got plenty of those, um, we've got all of these Omni tools here, basically the same thing, I think. Um, I may test it out just for, the, just for the sake of it, but I think they do all the same thing. So we've actually got some more quests to com complete. Let's have a quick look at what we've got for quest rewards. Let's tell you what, let's come along here, put everything in there. And then have a quick look at the quest rewards. Actually, I've got quite a lot as it happens. As you see, I've got some more food. Uh, I've got a chunk scanner and I've got a chicken noodles and I've got a top hat. Right, food will put it. Actually, that's not all of it, food, is it? That looks like golden tattoo. Leek soup, chicken noodles, and the hat. Uh, what's interesting here, of course, is the chunk scanner. I actually made one because I have been scanning chunks. And how you do it is like this: you take the chunk scanner. Now we'll turn on. We'll turn on chunks to start with. So that's F3 and G. And you can see that this chunk we're in at the moment. If I take the chunk scanner and hold it down, and keep holding it down, it will. Get, it'll release itself, and then we'll get. A, there we go. So it releases itself and then we get this resource report okay and what this resort says we've got iridium small so we're actually already in iridium chunk fantastic and what i did is i went yeah this is the same one which you would expect because it's the same report same the same chunk but it does depend on the safe so i've got iridium small so we can set up the drill so let's do that so what you need to do for setting up the drill it needs some power that's one thing it does need and that's probably what i'm going to use the quantum um the qu the, qu uh, the quantum solar panel for to start with so what you do is you put that oh, have, have i got i don't know it oh, of course i did just put everything in here didn't i uh, i need to get rid of these ingots let's get rid of those ingots in there don't need that anymore as it happens because i've scanned all of the area that i want to see but that's how you do it so in here, we can get rid of this stuff out of here like this. So what we need here, first of all, I do need the drill bits. I don't, which one's what I'm going to put away so I like. So we can put the mining computer down first of all. You can put it on the ground, so it doesn't really matter where you put it. So as far as I know it anyway, actually I did put it one block up last time I was doing this. So let's put it one block. A stone here made accidentally <laughs> with the U matter, and let's put the mining rig down computer down facing this way. It does have a direction, this thing like that, and you've got a screen on it. Let's just break this up again. And then on here, we can put the two dr drills. So we've got two mining rig drills here, so it doesn't matter where you put them, you can put them here or on the diagonals here. Actually, that looks a bit high, doesn't it? Uh, does look too high. Can I break those? Just break them with this. I've got done none, nothing so far. Maybe I need to put it on the ground. Oh, do you know I just I did this once. That's configured. Oh yeah, of course it's configured because it's normally configured. Let's just put it on the ground. Let's put these down first of all. I can put them on the ground. Good. So then I want to put the mining rig computer here. I can do that perfect. That looks better, doesn't it? And then it needs simply just needs power, but these need drill bits in. So we can put a an an, um, an iron drill bit into these. It doesn't matter which type we use. Could even use stone. 
because it's going to we're not going to get enough power to run this to start with until we've got a better system so all we need to do now is give this some power so i'm going to get that solar panel and put it on here it's technoborn so i've got to get the right wrench out that was hard and the reason i'm using um technoborn is it is compatible i didn't wasn't sure whether it was compatible but it is compatible so we could just jump up here and put you up maybe we can put you against this one as it happens we'll see again so that's getting power in actually isn't coming into here this is fully charged good so that means it should be active and what you can see here is if you look on here it's fully charged and it should start to do something the drill should start to turn um oh let's just check that again drills active so that means that it's working what we can now do is to put into here some uh, energy um efficiency upgrades in it of course bigger solar panel it will produce power but it's going to produce very little power uh, and i've got those prepared i think so we'll I've got four of these. I want to craft four of these. And I need some more diamond dust. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've got this prepared. Let's double check. I'd already made a scanner, a chunk scanner, in order to do that stuff. And I can't find it. Tell you what, I'll be back in a second. I forgot something. I have to put the um, resource report into here. So you can shift click it in. And now you can see it's working, as you can see here it's doing something this is working and these are the drill and you can see the drill bits are now working down here like this both of them so it doesn't matter where you can put them obviously you can put a lot of these in here but i don't think this is going to be powerful enough it doesn't look so it's not powerful enough to run this 100 all the time but it doesn't matter very much for the time being we can leave it like this and then we can take the stuff that we've got in here and put it into a chest so that's easy enough to do. Let's just do that. We've got some gold chests down here. And, and as it is always the case with um, Tech Reborn, uh, not, yes, Tech, not Tech Reborn, Industrial Revolution, you can put them on the side and it always goes out on the right hand side. But with a bit of luck, we've already got the, the stuff in here because it's by default, if you look at the configuration of this, it's always on the right hand side. Checking the mode. And it's also an all this is always the standard configuration. Usually you get the inputting on the left. Um but in this particular case, it doesn't have anything to input, does it? As far as I can as far as I know. So there we are. That's working. By this time we should have enough U matter to make some iridium. Ten. So the use of this We've done one of these. Uh, the one I did was stone, which is very smart, but there we are. That's coal, two. Diamonds, we could do. Emeralds, we can do. Enderpearls, we can do. Copper, we can do. Cocoa beans, I'm not sure what we need cocoa beans for. Uh, let's have a look at the uses of those. Is there anything in tech? I'm just wondering if there's anything in this mod that actually uses it. No, nope, I don't see any uses for it in there. Feathers, glass, glowstone. That's an important one as it happens. Gunpowder. That is the iron and iridium ore. So iridium ore is this one. And it needs six to make one of these. And I've only got six. So we can just put in six to there. Shove those two in there. Maybe, maybe we've got enough to make some more. Not yet. We need some more. Well, that actually makes aluminium dust. The one thing I don't need is aluminium dust. Or aluminium of any sort. So there we are. Well, I've waited a few seconds to see what we're getting here. And sure enough, we've got two iridium ore in here. So we've got a total of three. So we, actually, this is coming in reasonably quickly as it happens. Uh, not too bad at all. So, of course, then we just need our micro and we can then go and process that in the uh, industrial centrifuge. Uh, at the moment we've got in here water but as as you may remember i turned the water off here 
And then all we need to do is to put in something that needs uh, uses water. So a good one is let's go and have a plenty plenty of ores in here. Let's see what happens. Redstone, not iron. Let's just check this in here, and that will consume all of the. Um, put it into that one now, and that will consume all the water in in this tank here, so we don't get any more coming in. Sixteen is the only one I need. So we can let that run, and then we can go and get our mercury and put that one in. But for the time being, I think that's all I want to cover today. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Next time we will be doing um, the better end pedestal infusing. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.